Congratulations, third graders. You have made it to the orange belt. Woohoo! So let's take a look at our orange belt packet here. The school does not have orange paper, so I had to improvise with the orange highlighter here. So let's see what we've got in here. So the first page is just a review of how to hold the recorder. You can feel free to read through that if you need to. But just a reminder, left on top, right on bottom. Left on top, right on bottom. Left on top, right on bottom. Moving on. So in the orange belt, we're going to be introduced to something called tonguing. So tonguing is a technique used with wind instruments to enunciate different notes using the tongue. A silent two is made when the tongue strikes the roof of the mouth, causing a slight pause in the airflow through the instrument. You can practice by whispering two as you play each note. So let's just try that for a moment. Notice if you just whisper two, 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 two. Try that with me. Ready, go. Notice that your tongue is hitting the roof of your mouth. Let's try that again. Practice with me. So that's called tonguing, and you'll be doing that as you play your instrument. As you blow into your instrument, you're going to tongue. So we'll be practicing that with the orange belt, and that just makes each note sound clearer. So in the orange belt, we're also going to be focusing on the G note. So G is the second line, every good bird does fly, G, second line. And how do we play a G? We've got to cover those three holes in the front and the thumb in the back. So the song says, G whiz, it can't be. I can even play a G. It's not hard. It's not bad. You can even play it, Dad. And then we're introduced to something called a repeat sign. A repeat sign is when there's two lines and two dots. And this tells us to go back to the beginning. So we do it again. G whiz. It can't be. I can even play a G. It's not hard. It's not bad. You can even play it, Dad. So let's try that on our recorders, all right? We're just going to get in the position to play a G. Left on top, right on bottom. Your right hand is on the bell. Your left thumb is on the back hole. Instrument on your chinny chin chin. Lay your first finger, second finger, third finger down to play a G. So let's look at I can even play a G. It sounds like this. One, two, play with me. Repeat sign, do it again. Nice job, everybody. And you'll notice that I was actually tonguing on that. And this song has quarter notes, one beat, eighth notes, a half a beat each, right? And it's TT, they're saying one beat here. Two of these put together is one beat. This one's a half, this note has a half, this note's at a half. So half and a half means a whole. That's one beat put together. So again, it re reminds you this symbol with dots is called a repeat. It's telling you to play the song again. So there's our repeat sign. And let's move on over to the Orange Belt Challenge. Okay, the Orange Belt Challenge is going to be jamming on B, A, G, which we will focus on in the next video. Great job so far on your Orange Belt, everybody.